Fox NFL Sunday kicks off. Ezekiel Elliott and the Dallas Cowboys face off against James Conner and the Pittsburgh Steelers. but it's a good start. Dak Prescott leads the 1-0 Cowboys searching for their second win of the NFL season. Hosting Mason Rudolph and the 0-1 Steelers after suffering a heartbreaking overtime loss in Cleveland against the Browns. In Arlington, Texas, we kick off on Sunday here on Fox. Down the field is Tavon Austin back deep for the kickoff. And here we go. And Luke and Austin is going to be down at close to about the 25 yard line. To the 24 and a half yard line. With Dak Prescott leading the offense. A nice win last week over the Rams, and that was a big development. And hand off is for Ezekiel Elliott. For a game of 10 at the 40, 35 yard line. A nice pickup of 11 yards on the carry, and it's that quarterback running back duo for the Dallas Cowboys, Dak Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott, who's become the main story in training camp earlier in, the, in, April, in August. Who went down with that, that torn Achilles injury last season. A lot of discussion for Ezekiel Elliott. Hands off for a game of seven on first down, second down and three for Elliott. Come on, let's go! Hut. Prescott, with the, off the play action pass is incomplete. Defended by Vince, Vince Williams for the Steelers. And it's a good, good defensive play. And the Steelers coming off a heartbreaking loss in Cleveland, Ohio against the Browns who suffered a 24 to 21 loss in overtime. And that was a heartbreaker there. We experienced it here on Fox. And Vince Williams in there to break that pass away. Let's go. Looking to get a three and out. And the cap. Hand off is to Elliott. And he's going to get the first down before he's tackled by the all-pro cornerback, Joe Hayden, for a gain of three. It was full blitz on the on the on the Steelers half side of the ball and Joe Hayden thought he was gonna make a play on Ezekiel Elliott, but it turns out it wasn't enough to stop this Ohio State running back. And a handoff to Elliott again for a gain of three or four yards. And it's second down and seven coming. Elliott's been the main story in training camp. He's missed a couple of seasons. Wait, and he's what a catch. What a play made by Randall Cobb. Good, good concentration. That ball was tipped in the air by the defensive line, lineman, Cameron, Hay, Cameron Hayward. Great concentration. Vin, Vince Williams almost in there to make a play on that ball and get the turnover that they wanted. Third down and four for the Cowboys. Handoff is to Elliott on first down inside the 40. And finally taken down by Sean Davis for another for another Cowboys first down. Really high powered offensive line. Prescott flushed out of the pocket, throws down the field to his first round pick, Mike Gallup, inside the two yard line. A good drive put together by the Cowboys so far. And Mike Gallup becoming a major we weapon for this Cowboys offense. We saw him last week over the Rams, who put, put a heck of a performance against the Rams. Had 10 catches for 137 yards in that ball game against the LA Rams. First and goal. Handoff is to Elliott. And the Ohio State running back is in with a Cowboys touchdown. And the crowd goes wild here in Arlington, Texas with Ezekiel Elliott on a nice carry. 
for a touchdown. We talked about him and his contract negotiations going on. And this is, is, is a good start for the Cowboys. A nice drive pick put together by, by, by Jason Garrett. And his offense for Dak Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott. We got Ryan Spitzer on the carry. On the kickoff, Chidobo Aluzi will make the tackle on Ryan Spitzer. Shy of the 20 to the 15 yard line for this offense. And Mason Rudolph getting his first career NFL start because Big ben, ben Roethlisberger is out for the season with a shoulder injury. Mason Rudolph is getting a well, first down and more. Mason Rudolph. And what a carry by Mason Rudolph to get his first career NFL start. A great carry by Mason Rudolph on the quarterback sneak. What a play. That was amazing by the court by the court, young quarterback. And he's look and he's looking to bounce back after that heartbreaking overtime loss in Cleveland. Try and, try and come here in Arlington, Texas to get their first win of the season. Handoff is to the, the running back, James Conner. They went out their, 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 their Pro Bowl running back, Le'Veon, Le'Veon Bell, who signed with the, the New York Jets in 2018. With a nice contract. Is used to go to go further in with the Jets punt franchise. You off in the pocket goes to his main man, number 19 of the offense, Juju Smith Schuster, who's become the primary target for Mason Rudolph to start this this game, the game last week against against the against the the, the Cleveland Browns. Put up a heck of a game. Nine catches for 134 yards. And he did most of the work. You're off in the pocket in the end zone. Pass is broken up. Intended target is Dante Moncrief, number 11 of the offense. Second down and 10 for the Steelers. And a lot of time in the pocket. Nice offense put, put together by the offensive line and double coverage. A Byron Jones and Xavier Woods. For the Dallas defense. He has a lot of weapons for, for on, the, on the defensive side of the ball. Hand up on top of the is the tight end, Vance McDonald, number 89, for the, cheap, for the, the Steelers up offense. Third down and four for a game of six. Van, and Van, Vance McDonald, who got popped by Byron Jones. And Byron Jones in training camp in August. He went down with a knee injury. And it is into the end zone touchdown, Ryan Spitzer. And a nice drive put together by the, by the Pittsburgh Steelers. After that, nice carry by Mason Rudolph. It results as a Steelers touchdown for, for Ryan Switzer. And the double coverage of Byron Jones and Xavier Woods, who made a big play on Dante Moncrief on the last drive. And it's a tie game here at Arlington. St Steelers and Cowboys tied with seven. Both teams for a fight ahead in their division. Dallas, the Dallas Cowboys looking to get the second win of the season, getting the 2 0 in the regular season. And the Pittsburgh Steelers trying to bounce back after that loss in overtime against the Cleveland Browns. And we experienced that game here on Fox on Sunday last week. There we go, that's Ezekiel Elliott. Vince Williams, number 98, was in on the tackle on Ezekiel Elliott. 
they have the offensive line put together for this Dallas Dallas Cowboys offense and a nice and a nice out offense all the way from Tyron Smith to Lael Collins and they are, and they are they are awesome in the run game wide open inside the 40 and he is wide open and what a pickup he was by Jerry Jones the owner of the Dallas Cowboys and he's been a nice addition for Dak Prescott's offense. The guy, he's been a couple of seasons with the Oakland Raiders, who now, who's going to get their neck for next season, moving into their new, new stadium, Allegiant Stadium, that's going to be built next year for this for the franchise. Pass is intercepted by, by Stephen Nelson, the former Kansas City Chief, against against the. First round pick, Mike Gallup, the rookie. And the Steelers are having themselves a nice drive so far. They're having a nice day so far. Trying to get trying to bounce back. And this defense is having themselves a nice start here in this ballgame here in Arlington. 36 seconds left of the first half to end. Mason Rudolph back on the field. The deep shot. Mason Rudolph flushed out to the pocket. Goes to the tight end, Vance McDonald. Against the corner back, Mike Byron Jones. And the timeout by the Steelers. The State Farm halftime show is coming up afterwards. Second down to seven. After that game of three by Vance McDonald, the tight end. Coming off is the corner. First on foot, second down gets six. Leighton Van Der Esch made the tackle. And the Steelers are going to use their second timeout in this first, first half with 29 seconds left. They've got to keep their last timeout to get in field goal range. Pass is over the top of Ryan Switzer. And it's fourth down. After that interception by Steven Nelson, it's a three and out for the Steelers. Punt team's on the field. And Barry's on the field. And the punt is a nice punt. Close to the end to the to the end zone where the kept where the Steelers will get their touchdown. 21 seconds in following halftime. Handoff is to Elliott. And this effort has to get down, down the field. And Prescott's going to use their first timeout with 17 seconds. And this effort has to get down the field. But they want to take the, take the lead. Pass is incomplete. Vince Williams knocked the ball away. It's third down and four. And he's been the main talk he's been go. the main player that we've been talking about, Vince Williams. Prescott down the field. It's caught by Amari, by Amari Cooper. For a Cowboys first down. Another timeout by the, by the Cowboys. And they want to use their timeouts wisely and not throw a pick to start this, to end the first half. Down the field pass is caught by Amari Cooper. And the Cowboys are going to use their last and final timeout. And the field goal unit's on the field. Mayher, kick is no good. That's how we're going to end the first half with both teams tied ahead with seven points. It's the Steelers and Cowboys to start the second half, but the Steelers get the ball to start the second half. Third quarter underway, Ryan Switzer on the kickoff. And Switzer is going to, is going to get popped. Shy of the 20 to the 18 yard line by Jalen Smith. What a, what a first half 
for the Steelers. But Mason Rudolph having a, a good start in the first half. Pass is nearly picked off by Chidobi Aruzio on that play. And they want to be careful because this deep, this Dallas defense is had itself a nice game last week over the Rams. We put up four, 21 points last week. And held the Rams to a field goal and with no touchdowns. Rudolph pass is caught by the by the tight by the by Dante Moncrief. The ex-Indianapolis Colt. Alright, here we go. With a first down carry. Mason Rudolph in the pocket throws down the field and it's incomplete. Short and Ryan Spitzer, the intended target. Gone in the backfield, play action for the Steelers, and Mason Rudolph wide open. Juju Smith Schuster, he's got it. Down inside Cowboys territory with a 23-yard with a ca catch and another Steelers first down. Rudolph. O'Connor in the backfield in a tailback. Hold up, Mr. O'Connor on first down. Gets a gain of six yards. Second down to four. George Uluka, Uluka made the tackle. And this Dallas defense is trying to make a stop. But trying to but not trying to but it's not trying to get answers to stop this this, this Steelers offense. Remember, they're trying to bounce back after that loss in Cleveland with a 24 to 21 loss in Ohio. Handoff is the best. Connor, he's, did, he's been doing most of the work on the run game. He had, he had five carries for 67 yards last week in Cincinnati. In Cleveland, Cleveland, I'm sorry. Played by Michael Bennett for a loss of three. That was an excellent play by number 79, Michael Bennett, of the Dallas def defense. A nice put, nice open field tackle in the backfield. Looking to make a stop. 38 seconds left. With second, with a second down and 13 coming up. First down. James Conner is going to get the first down. This is an absolute clinic putting on by the Steelers so far in this second half. And James Conner is having himself a nice game. He already has 10 carries for, for, not, for 67 yards in this ball game against the Dallas defense. Let's go! 23 seconds left, first and goal for the Steelers. And Connor in the backfield gets dropped behind the line of scrimmage by Justin March Lillard. Number 53, Justin March, Justin March Lillard. Read that play very well. Second down and goal. It was a loss of about a yard. Second and goal. Can the Cowboys make a stop? And it's a con and nowhere to go. Jeff Aluka. And it's third and goal for the for the Steelers offense. Looks like the, the Cowboys are trying to find are having trying to find answers and they're getting some with Leighton Vanderush on the open, on a nice tackle on James Conner. He's a strong linebacker in the secondary for the Cowboys. Rudolph, pass is caught for the touchdown. Juju Smith Schuster. His first touchdown to start the season. And it's number 19. And Mason Rudolph is, have, is putting, him, putting on a show. 
here against the, in Arlington against the Cowboys with number 19 in there for the touchdown. And at the end of the third quarter, the Steelers are up by seven and over the Dallas Cowboys. And Dak Prescott surging to get his first, his second win of the season is in is critical shape. And Tavon Austin, the excellent running win to Erasen. Tavon Austin, the one man to beat. Rose, Rose, Roosevelt Nix in there for the touchdown. What a play by the special teams, Tavon Austin. And this crowd is going wild here in Arlington in the AT&T Stadium. No, pen no penalty flag on the play, and that was excellent. That was excellent drive put together on the special teams by Tavon Austin. And that was amazing. Tying this ball game with a minute and 17 seconds left. This is this the both teams looking for the fight ahead. Kickoff is underway. Ryan Spitzer. Another number 10 in, in the black and yellow. Is down shy of the eight to the 18 yard line to the shy of the 20. The Cowboys trying to make a stop and get, get a play on defense. The pass is caught by Ken Monarchy for Steelers first down. The Cowboys are, are not are trying to find answers and get and get a turnover on defense. Pass is broken up. Defended beautifully downfield. An excellent in man to man coverage against Ryan Switzer, the intended receiver. Anthony Brown, who made the play on that ball. Second and 10, 59 seconds left. Mason Rudolph is set. Brought to the ground by Demarcus Lawrence for a loss of nine on the play. And a timeout by the Steelers to sort things out. The Steelers went for a four-man rush with the pocket collapse and Mason Rudolph, who couldn't find anybody. Both Lawrence and Bennett was in there on the tackle. Give credit to both of those, those players. Third down and 19. And that is the common man of the game, Michael Bennett. With another loss on the play of two yards. With 44 seconds left, I wouldn't have been surprised for, the, for Mike Tomlin to try and go for it on fourth down to 21, but they're not going to risk it. Barry will kick it, and the fair catch handled by Tony Pollard. With 30 seconds, the Cowboys trying to get the surging to get their second win of the season. And this is a critical drive for the for the Cowboys. Handoff is to Elliott. Second down and two, three for a game of seven. And they want to hurry up, hurried up offense here. Prescott. What a throw and what a catch by Amari Cooper. 18 seconds remaining and the Steelers are trying to make a stop and send it, send this thing straight to overtime. With a timeout, De number 55, the rookie Devin Bush in there to call the timeout and they get it on time. The Steelers left it one timeout. Cowboys have all three. Hand off Elliott, first down and more. Elliott into the end zone for the touchdown. And I say this Cowboys offense is, is 
doing a great job, and they finally grant it as they get the lead against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Remember, this bell game is not over. There's 11 seconds in this bell game. The Steelers trying to send this thing straight to overtime here in Arlington, Texas. And an onside kick try. Mayher. And it's recovered by the Steelers. Arnie Burns. And the fumble with the cup. And it's recovered by the Steelers. And the crowd does not like it. With, Steph with Stephon Tui. The crowd did not like that. At all. Jason Mason with a pass and it was broken up. This effort has to get into the end zone if they want to get the they want to tie this, this ball game. They have one timeout remaining. Down the field pass is deflected and nearly picked off. One second remaining. And this effort has to get into the end zone. And it's critical for the Steelers offense. Steelers wins 20, 20, Cowboys win 21 to 14, a seven point deficit and, an, and a critical loss for the, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Meanwhile, for the Dallas Cowboys, they go 0, 2 and 0 in this regular season. And what a start for the 100th season of the NFL for the Dallas Cowboys and a heartbreaking loss for the Steelers again. That's now wrap it here in Arlington, Texas. State Farm Post Game Show is coming up.